Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about this new tripod I've been using from SmallRig. Now, they did send this in uh, to me. They are not paying for this video and they will not be able to review this video before it comes out. Uh, because they literally asked me to just share my honest opinion about it. What do I think about it? Uh, you know, there's a lot of tripods on the market. Uh, there's two, I would say, main features of so this one is the fact that it's carbon fiber, so it's light. Uh, and it also has a nice sort of a quick adjustment for the height of the tripod. So let me kind of quickly show you how you can set it up. And that's one thing I would say about this tripod is that it just allows you to set it up pretty, pretty quickly. So let me take it out of the, the case. So it comes with the case. You do have like a little strap that you can put over your shoulder if you want to. And it's a nice padded case. And there's the tripod. And as you can see, pretty light even though it is a pretty big, sturdy tripod. So for the, the weight of this overall tripod, how much it actually, like the capacity that it can actually support is pretty good. Uh, and that's all because, again, because it's carbon fiber. Um, now, I, like I said, the other feature that I really like is the fact that you just have basically one lever for each of the, the legs. For example, if I drop this, you can see, it will just drop it for me all the way to the ground. And if I want to make it go lower or higher, I can adjust it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is pretty much the lowest that it's going to go. But again, this tripod can support those also a lot of weight. So like I said, it's good for like a lot of cinema glass, uh, like a big, even cinema rig. I mean, I use this actually with this one crazy zoom lens that I have. It's a 300 millimeter with a 1.4x teleconverter on this. And the lens is not stabilized, by the way. And with this tripod, the fluid head, I was able to still get uh, nice and smooth shots. Now, like I said, to adjust its height, like let's say if you want to make it go up, I can just simple, just loosen all three of these and I can lift it up. So I can put whatever height I want up here and this will be here the maximum. Pretty nice range from, like I said, you can go all the way from this height uh, down to what I showed you before. Now, uh, let me maybe come closer and show you guys uh, kind of some of the details when it comes to the head of this tripod that it comes with. Again, it can support a decent amount of weight, so I do like that. I do like this actually uh, quick release uh, camera attached to the base plate. As you can see, it just kind of pops out. And now to put it back in, again, with the whole camera, it's fairly easy. You just put in the camera a little bit on an angle and you just press it here. And that's it. And then it, it locks itself in there. It's not going to slide out. And obviously, once you have find your center of gravity, you just like the tripod, uh, the, the plate. Something I like about small rig, they always think of little things like that. They actually give you it's a magnetic kind of a Allen wrench holder that again, you can use this to adjust uh, the uh, quarter 20 and 3 8 uh, screws that come on the base plate. So you can easily remove that or attach it to your, your camera. Uh, the arm is reversible, obviously. You can attach it on this side. You can also adjust its length. So if you want it to be smaller, let's say, because you're traveling with it, or longer because you're using it, you can do that easily. Uh, there's also a bubble head here in the back, so kind of you can use that again to make sure that you're nicely level. Uh, and if you're not, again, the, just loosen the ball head, adjust the level of it, and tighten it. So that works pretty well. You have a tension here for uh, basically, you know, your tilt. And obviously, once you find the position you like, you can lock it. And as you notice, it does have a bit of a, like, a, what do you call it, a break, like it's uh, this kind of a tension that when you go to one extreme to the other. So let's say if you do have a, a, a camera rig up here and you forgot to lock the tilt, and let's say you have a really front heavy lens, it will go obviously to front, but it will kind of dampen it at the end and it will stop. So it doesn't damage the lens. So it's nice that it has that built in. Uh, and then you have another tension adjustment here for the pan. I wanted to quickly show you guys here the, the feet of the tripod. So you have these sort of flat uh, rubberized kind of pads uh, on the bottom of this, which work for, honestly for most of the, the scenarios. Like even when I'm using it here on the grass or on asphalt or indoors on uh, like wooden floors or, or tile floors, it just gives it a nice grip and it's a nice big surface. Now, if you are somewhere where, uh, let's say this is not giving you a good hold and you want those spikes, then yes, you do have it. You have a little button here that you press and that allows you to remove it. As you can see, you have two spikes here uh, that you can use to really make sure that you're kind of wedging the legs into the ground and, and this way you know they're not going to be moving anywhere. But like I said, for me, most of the time I just use these things. Uh, they're kind of easy to pop back in and as you can see, you can switch back and forth between them, no problem. Uh, you also have a little here, quarter 20 thread here on the front so you can attach like let's say an extension arm 
if you want to put a monitor or other wireless video system or other accessories. And that also allows you to do that. And like I said, it's a fairly small, compact, again, form, form factor, but uh, it allows you, again, to support a fairly decent camera package on there. So overall, pretty decent tripod. I'm not gonna say it's the, the best one out there, but also when you compare it to like the prices, like for example, I do like the one from Satchler, obviously it has one uh, lever that you just lift up and again, you can adjust it kind of similarly like this. But the thing is that obviously the price is nowhere near when you compare it to this, this tripod. And so if you're looking for something that's affordable, but yet it has a lot of these good features, easy to travel with because again, it's light, then, uh, then this is something definitely you guys uh, should look into. So if you want to find out uh, all the specs about it and the, the latest prices, where you can get it, then as always, check out the links in the description of this video, or even better, head on over to my website at tomantisfilms.com. And, uh, and leave, me, leave me a comment over there. Check out the latest post about this tripod. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.